North Korea preparing to prosecute two American tourists North Korea says it plans to prosecute two American tourists that it detained earlier this year, accusing them of perpetrating hostile acts. The North Korean government had previously said it was holding the two U.S. citizens, Jeffrey Edward Fowle and Matthew Todd Miller, but hadn't said what it planned to do with them. According to the results of the investigation, suspicions about their hostile acts have been confirmed by evidence and their testimonies, the North Korean Central News Agent the relevant organ of the DPRK is carrying on the investigation into them and making preparations for bringing them before court on the basis of the already confirmed charges, the report said, using using an abbreviation of the country's official name, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Asylum bid? North Korea said in late April that it had taken Miller into custody, claiming he had come to the country seeking asylum, and had torn up his tourist visa. It announced the detention of Fowl in early June, saying he had violated the law by acting contrary to the purpose of tourism. It didn't provide details at the time, on what exactly he was accused of doing. But the Japanese news agency Kyoto cited unidentified diplomatic sources, as saying that Fowl was part of a tour group, and that he was detained in mid-May after allegedly leaving a Bible in a hotel, where he had been staying. Although North Korea regularly denounces the United States, as a sworn enemy in its state-run media, Americans are able to visit the country as tourists. But the U.S. State Department says it strongly recommends against all travel by U.S. citizens to North Korea. YKCNA reported Monday.